Welcome to Defense News Plus. The Indian Air Force formally inaugurated the Rafale jets into the 101 squadron of the Eastern Air Command in the presence of Air Chief Marshal Arkesh Bhadoria at the Hashimarai Air Force Station in West Bengal on Wednesday. Air Chief Marshal Vadoria stated that the induction of the Rafale jets at Hashimara was carefully planned, keeping in mind the importance of strengthening the Indian Air Force's capability in the eastern sector. The induction ceremony with a flypast and a traditional water cannon salute welcomes the arrival of the Rafale aircraft at Hashimara. Indian Air Force received 26 Rafale aircraft till now from France. The Indian Air Force chief recalled the glorious history of the 101 squadron which earned it the title of Falcons of Champ and Aknur. The multi-role Rafale jets are famous for air superiority and precision strikes. The Rafale aircraft can carry weapons like European missile maker MBDS Meteor, a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile and the Scalp cruise missile. Next update, Kiev-based missile maker Artem Holding Company stated it has backed a $200 million contract of the R-27 medium-range air-to-air missile from the unnamed Asian customer. Artem Director Vladimir Zimin stated the company received an advance payment and began to fulfill the largest contract for the last 10 to 15 years for the supply of R-27 missiles worth more than $200 million. It is speculated that India has given the contract to Artem for a batch of medium-range missiles designed to intercept and destroy hostile piloted aircraft, drone targets and cruise missiles in a long-range and close-in dogfight. It is believed to be fitted with fourth-generation fighters MiG-29, MiG-31, Su-27, Su-30, Su-33, Su-34 and Su-35. The R-27 is a family of the air-to-air -air missiles originally designed by the Russian design bureau Vyampel and built by Russian firm Vyampel and Ukrainian Artem. More than 25 countries has been actively using this missile. Next update, a lightweight helicopter weighing 4 kg has been developed by the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur which has displayed in the Aero India 2021. The lightweight helicopter has been made by Endure Air Private Limited, a startup incubated by IIT Kanpur. The feather-like lightweight helicopter is a marvel of technology. The IIT Kanpur made drone helicopter features long range and endurance, vertical takeoff and landing, long video streaming, obstacle avoidance and precise navigation. The helicopter operates on petrol and can carry a 5 kg of payloads. The helicopter reached the height of 11,500 feet in the trial but the engine is losing power with the increasing heights. So the scientists are working on another battery powered engine to achieve greater heights. It will mainly be used for long endurance surveillance and it can be used for medical essential supply, CBRNE detection, crowd monitoring and search and rescue. Next update, Russia's Rostec State High Tech Corporation is planning to develop a new variant of Kamov KA-226 helicopter with pilotless flight control system. The KA-226 features an interchangeable mission pod unlike a conventional cabin allowing the use of various accommodation or equipment configurations. Group Director for Marketing and Business Development Oleg Landin stated that we will probably develop an unmanned aerial vehicle on the basis of a coaxial scheme by analogy with the KA-226 helicopter, the modular design of which makes it possible to do this quite quickly from our point of view. The Kamov KA-226 is a small twin-engine utility helicopter. Next update, DRDO has developed an anti-drone system to neutralize enemy drone attacks. The indigenous drone technology is capable of counter-attacks including soft kill system for jamming the communication links of the drone and hard kill system through laser-based destruction of the enemy drones. The system has already completed trials to the armed forces and other security agencies. 
DRDO's counter drone technology is transferred to Bharat Electronics Limited and simultaneously offered to the other companies also. That's it for today. If you like our work, then please hit the like button, share this video, and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.